it's literally the night before the London triathlon sprint and I can't sleep I'm so excited it's half 10 in the evening and I'm just so excited I'm like yeah, like a little kid this is my first triathlon sprint ever so it's all new to me I'm just so excited just I gotta go, I gotta try sleep, but I don't know if I will. I gotta be up at uh, half five because I gotta drive to London from Southampton, but uh, it's a two hour drive. See you tomorrow. So it's been chucking it down lately, and the morning that I'm driving, there's a rainbow. That's a good sign, right? I'm about to set off now. I've got the bike, I've got loads of bags of stuff. Uh, I don't know if I forgot anything. I've done my checks. I'm hoping I've got everything, but I'm really, really excited. I'm, I'm slightly nervous now because I've never done a triathlon sprint before. So I'm more excited. I am excited. I am really, really excited. And now I'm about to do a two and a half hour journey up to London. So, yes! The London Excel is actually a car park. <laughs> Turns out these guys are charging 20 quid a pop, and that means that they, I think they can take like 3,000 cars. It works out to be over 60 grand for parking. How crazy is that? Just wow. I'm so excited. I'm in the car park. Ah, I don't even know what to do with myself, but I'm just so excited. So, so excited. And nervous a little bit. And nervous. Don't forget the nervous. It's like, ah! I am completely overwhelmed, I guess. I don't even know what to do with myself now. I'm so excited. I just can't even think straight. Sitting watching this thing countdown is making me want to cry inside. Mine's supposed to be 11.50. So I've got just over an hour left. Just over an hour. Got my thing on. Got my name thing on. It's kind of like already all good to go. Don't know if you can see, but I think the little piggy boy is down there. See them down in the distance? I think that's the markers. So I've got to go from this place over here, all the way down there, around, 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 then all the way along the edge. There's yellow little boys down past the two piggies down there, and then back up here. I have a feeling that's the route I'm doing. Check this guy, big piggy. Dim, dim, dim. So I've got one hour to go, and I've just stumbled across, across this place. It's called it's a charity and I just got speaking to Richard. I mean, well, he kind of came over to me and kind of like, hey, this is Shelter Belts. Take what we know. Um, so basically what they do is they supply tents to disaster countries. Um, the tents come in these huge boxes over there. And this is what the tent looks like. So it's quite big. It can house, what was it, five people? Five people. And what was it? How long could they last Up in this tent? Up to six months. Up to six months. So they got like crayons and Loads of water filters and all that. So uh, thanks to Richard because he just come up to me out of random and now I've just put them in this vlog. So <laughs> donate to Shadowbox, they seem a good cause. Cheers. <laughs> so I've just headed back to the car. Um, I'm really nervous now. I think it's about half an hour till we start. But I'm just going to have some more water quickly, have some f quiet time and then back to the chaos. Get kitted up and good to go. I think it's about half an hour to go. Might not be so much more filming from now on, but just know I'm here, I'm facing my fears, doing some challenges, 
and I'm good to go. London Triathlon Sprint. Okay, so we're recording now. I've got my wetsuit on, about to go down there, somewhere over there. That's where we're gathering to start. But we've got a few minutes now. We're gonna get kitted up and head over. Cool. That's the swim done. I'm knackered. Time for the bike ride. Check this. I've got a flat tire just coming up the hill. So I've got a flat tire just coming up the hill, but after 20Ks, I think I did really well. So I'm doing the bike, my legs are like jelly, but I think things are going well so far. So 5k run to go. Little metal, one hour 40 stuff. I don't even know right now. It's loud. I'm gonna make another recording in the car. But um, that was brutal. <laughs> um, but it makes it all all right because they give you an alcohol free beer. So, you get an alcohol-free beer, yay. Uh, I ache, I hurt. I can't even see straight properly. Uh. I'm so happy I did this, so happy. I've just got this silly little middle. And AJ Bell, I'm really disappointed that I didn't get a t-shirt. I'm like, middle and t-shirt go together. Just FYI for next year. The 750 meter swim, that almost broke me. The ride was just like, give it some to catch up some time. And then the run was just, use whatever little dregs of energy you have left and just go. So I literally had to run with two stitches. I was fighting two stitches the whole time. I had one like down here under the rib and then one sort of up here on the rib. That was a great challenge. I'm so, so chuffed I've done it. I. I will do another one. I've got another one in two months. I'm, I'm going to train a bit more. Obviously, I'm going to train a bit more. But I'm just so pleased I did it. I can't even like... I'm just so excited. <laughs> Random stuff you see in London. Yo, hot. I'm cold. Perfect. 